So, Stephen A., the last thing you tweeted uh, before uh, Tony Romo actually won the game for the Cowboys was damn, damn, damn. Why was that? Give us your take on what happened. You know, the interesting part is, is that <clears throat> the Dallas Cowboys clearly were the better team yesterday. They looked better. They looked tougher. Uh, they clearly looked bigger and stronger. They outmuscled uh, the Seattle Seahawks, and it was quite shocking the vision, to be quite honest with you. Uh, Skip Bayless had been raving about the Dallas Cowboys offensive line since the preseason, mm -hmm. uh, since training camp, to be quite honest with you. And knowing that they had an improved offensive line, you knew that their offense was going to be a juggernaut. The thing is, is that you said, what is their defense going to be able to do? And then even over the course of the four-game winning streak after they lost the season opener to the San Francisco 49ers, they, you just looked at the Dallas Cowboys and you said, oh, please, it's still a fluke because despite winning those four straight games, you saw that their offensive line was every bit it, they were every bit as legit as advertised. And then on top of it all, you saw DeMarco Murray running the football effectively. And then as a result of that, you found yourself saying, it's fool's goal because this defense still hasn't been exposed yet simply because they've been running the football, moving the chains. Uh, the, you know, they were the second leading team in terms of rushing attempts. Number one, I'm sorry, in terms of rushing attempts in the NFL. Number two, in terms of overall rushing yards with, uh, with – um, with uh, led by DeMarco Murray. And you just said to yourself, they're keeping the defense off the field, so we really, really don't know yet. Yet yesterday, despite the fact that they were moving the ball effectively and, again, 162 yards rushing and what have you, when their defense was on the field, they had Russell Wilson rattled. They were attacking the football. They were attacking the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, they, they, they maintained discipline in terms of their zone coverage. When they went man-to-man, -man, they went in their face. Uh, they, they were just, they were physical. I looked at the Dallas Cowboys. I didn't even recognize them. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. They clearly looked like the better team. They played like the better team. And as a result, I sit here today with very little to say other than to acknowledge uh, that I was wrong, or that the Dallas Cowboys, uh, as far as I'm concerned, based on what I saw yesterday, they're a legit contender in the, AF, in the NFC. There is no question about it. One could argue that right now they're the best team in the NFC. I almost faint when I think about <laughs> saying that out of my mouth. But it is the truth. I'm not a liar. I'm not somebody that ducks uh, from the mea culpas that I have to spew from time to time. It is rare, but this is one of those moments. Mm -hmm. The next two days are going to be a nightmare for me. <laughs> I do not want to be here today. I certainly don't want to look at him. Uh -huh. But it is what it is. Yeah. Um, the Dallas Cowboys, they've, they've, <laughs> they've proven me wrong. And so, <laughs> not, not just, even though not you, you do not sit here wearing a Tony Romo jersey just yet, and I do sit here supporting my Dallas Cowboys with Dallas colors on today, one question to you, sir, for the record, for posterity. Do you now believe in my Cowboys? I believe in them, but that's a loaded question. You need to get more specific. Because I still picked the Philadelphia Eagles to win the NFC East. You did. And I am not backing okay, off so from that. Okay, so you're sticking with that. I'm sticking with that. <sighs> okay. You know how much I do love you, and I do still love you. I don't always like you, but I do love you. And the days I don't like you are the many, 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 many days I've had to sit in this seat on Mondays after cowboy debacles and sit and hear you say with your stage exaggerated laughter, <laughs> my it's cowboys are an accident waiting to happen that my Cowboys are a walking piece of mediocrity. I've had relentless ridicule from you for year after year after Monday after NFL Monday. Am I going to hear that anymore this season, Mr. Smith? Uh-oh. That remains to be seen. Oh, oh so you're hanging on to that one, huh? That remains, that remains to be seen. I mean, I, I mean, the season is still long. There's still about yeah. 11 games, 10 games to go. Okay, but you, know, you, I mean, you did hey, call my hey, Cowboys an hey. NFC contender. Not NFC East contender, an NFC contender. Thank that you very true. much. Now, back true. to business. 
You laughed and laughed about my Cowboys' chances of winning in Seattle yesterday. And did they ever prove you wrong? Because your prediction was an accident waiting to happen, as they have been. Dallas against New Orleans this year, and Dallas will continue to make you laugh at them before games and me laugh last, game after game from here on. I told you before the year started, they are going to win the NFC East. And what happened yesterday was they went to Seattle and they bullied the bully. They didn't just beat Seattle. They beat Seattle at its own home game. They beat up Seattle. They played more physically. They outhit Seattle. DeMarco Murray went beast mode on the team with beast mode. And Dallas's defense held beast mode to a low roar, can we say? Ten carries on 61 yards and took Percy Harvin completely out of the game. And the Tony Romo that you have laughed and laughed at, who you said, if the ball is in his hands too much, will be the reason the Cowboys lose and lose badly yesterday, had zero interceptions and pulled off the play of the NFL year, as I alluded to, on third and 20. What an incredible escape. What an incredible throw. And what an incredible catch by Terrence Williams tiptoeing the sideline for 23 yards, which basically saved and put Dallas in position to win that game.